In Gundam Seed, it's typically the Earth Alliance that's shown as the most extremist and racist of all of the major factions. But this doesn't mean that Zaf didn't have their own monsters hiding amongst their ranks. Today, we're having a look at the story of Mikhail Coast, the coordinator who saw naturals as nothing more than a disease that had to be eliminated. Before the breakout of the First Bloody Valentine War, Mikhail was a well-respected doctor, but nobody knew about the dark secret that he was hiding. While most people who become doctors do so because they want to help people or advance science, Mikhail only did so to feed his own curiosity. And with the same thought process, he joined the military. He didn't care about the army's goals, he just wanted to see what war was like. His first known combat was on July 12th, Cosmic Era 70. And since he was flying a Jin Hai maneuver type, this meant that he'd either shown off his incredible combat prowess during earlier battles, or that he was able to demonstrate his skills during mobile suit training. What was for certain was that he definitely didn't earn it through his behavior. He was part of the forces sent to escort the recently captured asteroid base Nova to its new location. His first mission at this new position was to rescue allied forces that had been ambushed by the Alliance and suffered heavy losses as a result. But rather than showing empathy, he wasted no time showing his disdain for his fellow pilots, to the great dismay of his operator. Our leading force was ambushed by an Earth Forces fleet. They were totally outmaneuvered and sustained heavy damage. Huh. It must have been great cowards to lose to naturals. I'd call this death by natural causes. That's a bit much, don't you think? But Mikhail went on, treating the mission briefing as a pre-operation briefing, comparing the battlefield to a festering wound that had been infected by naturals. I only spoke the truth. It's better to call the weak sooner rather than later. The smallest of wounds can fester and infect the entire organism. But if he thinks clearly and reacts swiftly, it should be impossible for a coordinator to be outwitted by a natural. A sound and healthy body will always overcome the diseases that afflict it. Are you saying that naturals are a disease? His diagnosis was obvious. Removal of all naturals to restore the area back to full health. And so the doctor began his operation. With minimal damage to his gin, he took out mobile armor after mobile armor, and even ships fell like flies before him. This continued until he was confronted by a mobile suit that was on the Alliance side. At first, he was disgusted that a natural could keep up with him, but he soon realized that the person facing him was Guy Murakumo, a member of the mercenary group Serpent Tail and a fellow coordinator. His natural curiosity then led him to wonder why a coordinator would fight for the Earth Alliance. To which Guy gave a very simple answer. Because he's a mercenary, and because that's what he was paid to do. His feelings and opinions on the matter were irrelevant. Unfortunately for Guy, this mission would end in failure. While he had his hands full fending off Mikhail, the fleet he was meant to protect was completely annihilated. With no reason to keep on fighting, he began to withdraw, and to his surprise, Mikhail let him. Just as he had no more reason to fight with his client gone, Mikhail had no more reason to fight him now that the battlefield had been cleansed of naturals. The operation was a success, and eventually Nova reached its new location. Throughout the many battles on the way, Mikhail had managed to rack up the highest kill count of anyone involved, but now that Nova was away from the battlefield, he had no more interest in remaining there. As a doctor, it was his duty to continue fighting against diseases and to make sure that he would continue healing patients. Again, these diseases would of course be naturals. However, he would eventually return to Nova or as it was then known, Boaz. With the Earth Alliance moving on to the offensive in space, the asteroid base would again turn into a battlefield and be infected with the tumors known as naturals. After having dispatched of several daggers, he was able to diagnose the source of the germs, Morgan Chevalier's gun barrel dagger. But unlike many of the other Alliance units he'd faced, Morgan wasn't about to go down without a fight. In fact, 
Not only was he able to push Mikhail back, he even damaged his Jin to the point where he had to retreat. Fortunately for Mikhail, his ship was outside of the blast range when Boaz was blown up by the Alliance's Peacemaker force. For the first time, Mikhail had a failed operation. But that is all for this episode of Gundam Lore. And as with all of the previous Gundam Seed lores, this was again taken from the less than stellar Never Ending Tomorrow PlayStation 2 game. But this time, I do have a comment to make about the canonicity of Mikhail's story. The keen eyed amongst you might have noticed that Guy was piloting his Astray Blue Frame, and you also might have noticed that I purposefully didn't mention this. This event took place on the 12th of July Cosmic Era 70, and Guy would only get his hands on the blue frame in late January of the next year, which is when the Battle of Heliopolis happened. So him using the blue frame in that battle would be impossible. However, this does not necessarily mean that the confrontation never happened. The official site does state that Mikhail and Guy faced each other on numerous occasions, so I'm inclined to believe that they just gave Guy the blue frame because it's his most famous machine, or maybe because they made a mistake. As for me, I will incorporate this into my headcanon, but with him flying a Jin instead of the blue frame. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and while you're at it, leave a like and subscribe for more similar content in the future. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you all next time.